Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Mate. Today with this video, we are going to start up with a dentine series. This is an introductory video to dentine where we'll be discussing about the properties that is physical and the chemical properties of dentine. So let's get started. This is a diagrammatic representation of an anterior tooth. The outermost layer covering the crown portion is enamel. Innermost layer is the pulp, which is present both in the crown and the root. Outermost portion covering the root of the tooth is cementum. And the remaining portion, which is present between the enamel and dentine, and between cementum and between the enamel and pulp in the crown and between the cementum and the pulp in the root is dentine. Dentine is a hard tissue with tubules throughout its, th throughout its thickness. We can see that tubules are present throughout the thickness of the dentine. It determines the shape of the crown and number and size of the roots. Okay, It is a vital tissue. It has living protoplasm. Now, if we talk about the physical properties of dentine, then first up is color. It is light yellow in color and it becomes darker with age. Next is elasticity. It is viscoelastic and it is subjected to slight deformation. Hardness if we talk about, then amongst the hard tissues, enamel is the hardest, then comes dentine after that bone. If we talk about the hardness of dentine itself, then it is harder in the central part as compared to that of the dentine present in pulp or periphery, present near pulp or periphery. Along with that, the dentine of the permanent tooth is harder as compared to that of the primary tooth. Next, if we talk about the thickness of the dentine, then uh, average thickness of dentine is about 3 to 10 millimeters. It is greater in males of the same age as compared to the females more in the buccal surface as compared to the lingual surface and approximately same in mesial and distal surface. Next, if we talk about the chemical properties of dentine, then it has inorganic and organic content. 65% of it is the inorganic material, whereas remaining 35% is made up of the organic matrix and water. Okay, the inorganic matrix, it is formed by hydroxyapatite crystals. Okay, these are plate shaped crystals and it also contains phosphates, carbonates and sulfates. Whereas the organic matrix and water making up for a 35% of the dentine, they contain type 1 collagen fibrils and ground substance. Okay, there are numerous content of the ground substance of dentine. We have a mnemonic for it. Let's see what. See, the mnemonic is, my God, Professor Charles died by gliding over deep ocean. Professor's dear granny pleaded mercy to transform fibers in bone, platelet, placenta and vessels. Okay. Let us elaborate all of them. For uh, my M, from M it is mucopolysaccharides. Okay, the ground substance contains mucopolysaccharides. Now, what are the mu mucopolysaccharides present? First up is glycosaminoglycans or GAG. Next is proteoglycans, which contains chondritin sulfate, decorin, and biglycan. Okay, see. Mucopolysaccharides ke under, under mu mucopolysaccharides, it would be GAG and proteoglycans. Under proteoglycans, it would be chondritin sulfate, decorin and biglycan. Along with that, under mucopolysaccharide itself, there would be glycoproteins. Under glycoproteins, there would be osteonectin, DC alloprotein and osteopontin. Next, after glycoproteins, under mucopolysaccharides, would be phosphoproteins. Phosphoproteins could be DPP, 
गामा कार्ब गामा कार्बोक्सी ग्लूटामेट कंटेनिंग प्रोटीन्स और द ग्ला प्रोटीन्स नेक्स्ट अंडर म्यूकोपोलिसेकराइड्स वुड बी फॉस्फोलिपिड्स आफ्टर दैट कम्स मैट्रिक्स ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स ओके सो बेसिकली ग्राउंड सब्सटेंस में देर आर टू थिंग्स म्यूकोपोलिसेकराइड्स एंड मैट्रिक्स ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स म्यूकोपोलिसेकराइड्स में क्या क्या है ग्लाइकोसो अमाइनोग्लाइकेंस प्रोटियोग्लाइकेंस प्रोटियोग्लाइकेंस ग्लाइको प्रोटीन्स फॉस्फो प्रोटीन्स एंड फॉस्फोलिपिड्स ओके फाइव थिंग्स आर देयर अंडर प्रोटियोग्लाइकेंस देर इज कॉन्ड्राइटिन सल्फेट डेकोरिन एंड बाइग्लाइकिन अंडर ग्लाइक अंडर ग्लाइको प्रोटीन्स देर इज ऑस्टियोनेक्टिन डी सीलो प्रोटीन एंड ऑस्टियोपोटिन अंडर फॉस्फो प्रोटीन्स इट इज डी पी पी एंड ग्ला प्रोटीन्स एंड देन नेक्स्ट इज फॉस्फोलिपिड्स अ सेपरेट पॉइंट अंडर म्यूकोपोलिसेकराइड्स नेक्स्ट अप आफ्टर म्यूकोपोलिसेकराइड्स इन ग्राउंड सब्सटेंस वॉट इज प्रेजेंट इट इज मैट्रिक्स ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स वॉट आर द मैट्रिक्स ग्रोथ फैक्टर्स इट इज ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग ग्रोथ फैक्टर फाइब्रोब्लास्ट ग्रोथ फैक्टर इंसुलिन लाइक ग्रोथ फैक्टर बोन मॉर्फोजेनिक प्रोटीन प्लेटलेट डिराइव ग्रोथ फैक्टर प्लेसेंटा ग्रोथ फैक्टर एंजियोजेनिक ग्रोथ फैक्टर एंड वैस्क्युलर एंडोथीलियल ग्रोथ फैक्टर ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द कॉम्पोजिशन और द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डेंटीन वंस अगेन इफ यू रिवाइज वॉट वी हैव सीन it is it contains about 65% of the inorganic content and 35% of the organic matrix plus water the inorganic content as we know it is made up of hydroxyapatite crystals which are plate shaped they contains phosphates carbonates and sulfates these are poor in calcium and they are rich in carbon content okay the organic matrix has two types of things first is the type 1 collagen fibril next up is the ground substance what makes up the ground substance is the mucopolysaccharides and the matrix growth factors under mucopolysaccharides we have five things what are they glycosoaminoglycans gag proteoglycans glycoproteins and phosphoproteins and phospholipids okay gag proteoglycans glycoproteins phosphoproteins and phospholipids and next is the mu uh, matrix growth factors okay this is it about the physical and the chemical properties of dentine in the coming videos we'll be seeing the different structures of dentine so stay tuned keep visiting thank you